Hey, I want to talk about the band Low today. I know that's Mimi Parker, the the drummer and apparently also singer, just passed away last week. And I mean last weekend or something. I just um I love this song. I've been listening to it for a long time. Um and I found it again last year when I was on holiday with friends listened to it and yeah, understood that it was not just a random occurrence that I was like playing video games and li- listening to this song and feeling like oh yeah, that's pretty good. Uh it's A perfect example of why I love music and why simplicity is awesome and why it's useless to be a pretentious douche about music and why this job that I'm doing is is utterly uh, nonsense because the simplest chord progression can elicit things in you that uh, sometimes the craziest jazz arrangements never could this is in paris too so you know uh that's great for me i i didn't even know it was a woman singing this honestly i I didn't know much about lo my producer and editor told me uh about what happened and that i I could maybe talk about it and i just saw rugby auto made a video about it i thought this was a guy singing this but I think we're about to, we're definitely about to see Mimi sing this. I had, I had no clue, so that's the first surprise before it's even started. Let's go. Yeah, you failed then. 
if it was not supposed to make me cry, you, you must have failed a couple of times. Yeah. I don't think the voice is loud enough in, in the mix. I would like to hear a little more. The first thing is how um, the guitar player uses open strings to, to create more surprising chords. Um, I think that that's really nice. That's definitely something that I've... Um, used as well and every guitar player <laughs> kind of plays around with but it's uh it's almost uh gimmicky if you look at it too closely but if you just hear it it's it's very nice the bass tone fat simple efficient only a few notes scars mimi is standing up she's like feeling the rhythm you can see her move like that even though nothing is really going on rhythmically she she's a drummer she feels the the freaking thing and um Using intervals like grabbing those seconds, those uh, seventh, um, and, and things like that is really cool. When she goes, um, must be in C, so she goes, uh, she goes, no. Oh, is it in B? I, yeah, wait, in D. I mean, oh yeah, it's in it's in D. I guess B B minor. Yeah. So um, yeah, no, that this is good stuff. That's really really good stuff. What's what's interesting about this song is, it it perfectly illustrates my uh my idea of a of a pyramid song. We talk about it all the time on the channel. No, it's not Radiohead. It's this. Check it out. The graph of the people replaying the song. Right. You know what this is? This is the intensity. This is perfectly matching the intensity of the song, um, going up and up and up for sure. Thousand thousand percent. It's also cool to hear a live performance because you can't have the crazy reverb on it. There's too much bleed. So a bleed means like um, she's using an actual mic here that is on stage, the same space where the actual amps are of the other musicians. And these amps are going to spit like around 100 dB uh, when the song gets busier. And so you could never, you could never really like use a lot of live reverb because of this, because it, the... The mic picks up all that uh, extra noise and it, it would just be messy. You can only really go crazy with reverb and I guess effects in general if you record like in a vocal booth with more isolation. Although, you know, no rules. You, you can do what you want, but I guess if you use um, actual PA stuff, not PA stuff, but if you use speakers on stage to hear yourself, you can also maybe do feedback thing with the... If you have too much reverb, I don't know. I don't know really. <laughs> let's let's go on. You can tell it's about to get louder. You can remember, you know, the crazy distorted stuff you did at the beginning because of that hiss you hear. That's cable hiss and also hiss from turning down the volume on the guitar. You're always going to get noise if you have that. Oh, interesting. He's down-tuned. Yo, I don't understand. I don't understand what tuning this is. This is not standard. Because you couldn't get the open strings to do the wait. Da -da -da. Oh, I think maybe I get it.
you can hear the little give in the guitar, you can hear it's down tuned. It's so dirty. up quite a bit actually. I can hear the pick on the strings. Ha, oh, his amp is his amp is so small. Oh, you can hear like phone interference through the guitar's pickups.
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> what a lineup right there. Um, I don't know if it's phone interference that you can hear. I have a song called Low. And I'm kind of proud of it. And I think it was important to me that that was a good song. Because, because of this song, I, I would think about the band um, when I was like writing the song and recording it and stuff. There's a bit of, a lot of improvisation going on, even in, in, uh, in Mimi's melody, she doesn't have a lot of notes, but she's not sticking to what she does on, on the album, which is nice. There's feel, there's feel to it. Same thing with the guitar, you can literally hear some moments where it seems to be almost going off the rails because it's, uh, it is hanging on by a thread. He's walking that thread of, of improvisation and it's, it's beautiful. It's also, I don't know if this is the same ba bass player that um, played on the album. I heard that they swapped bass players frequent, frequently, but it's it's very close. It's very faithful to um, to the album version. It's much slower than the album version, though. Like it, it does speed up when I said it did, but like it's much slower. And I think that's really interesting. The fact that it's so slow, but it's much more distorted on the guitar. I've always thought that was that was a, a great thing to write a song, kind of not not acoustic, but you know, clean. Like you have a clean guitar tone, and if you don't have enough people to do the overdubs live or something, they don't have a problem with that because, uh, you know, their live stuff is, is pretty much live, I think. Star, <laughs> their studio stuff is live. Um, While well, you just press on a distortion pedal and it, it fills up the sound and it's compressed and it's nice and it's aggressive and it's grungy and, and it's trash. It's... um. How do you say this? This live performance is crass in in the guitar playing, but like in a good way. Yeah, it feels awesome to see such a beautiful guitar with the Bigsby and stuff be so out of tune. It, it's um like he's down tuning the big string. I don't know what what kind of tuning he does exactly. I couldn't figure it out, but just looking at it. But um, he's also like a little just out of tune, um, probably from the playing with the playing with his ding dong <laughs> and uh, it reminds me of my friend Gabby Morel in the best of ways you know this is really awesome and the people that were there 12 years ago no sorry 11 I can't count really got a unique performance because this is quite different from the album performance and I think every single time they played this it must have been different because um they they do improvise yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful and life is weird. I actually started my YouTube channel when uh, Dolores Riordan, singer from the Cranberries, passed away. Because um, I was overcome with such emotion. And, uh, you know, when, when you listen to some someone your whole life, like from, you know, being a, a baby, it's it's really strange when they, when they die. And even some, you know, a band that I only listen to, one song from to one I can't speak English it it does something and, and if you're really a, a fan of of low and you have been for a long time I I understand um how you might be feeling and it's um I guess it's a strange death to to die from from what gives life cruel life yeah um, this, this has been it for me today. Um, I'll listen to more low and, um, have a good one. Yeah. Bye-bye and rest in peace, Mimi. Bye.